This week, Missy gets busy, LeBron finds out about the treasure blue, and I heard a little something through the grapevine. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is the Weekly Review. Mizzy is no stranger to the weekly review, so it was of no surprise that when I saw the Air Jordan Cool Grey 6, I knew that it was going to be a hit. As the name implies, an Air Jordan 6 has been done up with an Air Jordan 11 Cool Grey sort of treatment. The model features Cool Grey all over the upper with white on the laces, on the toe cap, and around the air unit. There's also black on the liner and on the outsole. These are a one of one though. And um, however, if you do want Mizzy to hook you up, you can hit him up on Twitter. Once again, that's a custom job of the Air Jordan 6 Cool Gray. July is looking to be quite a month for sneakerheads, and the addition of the Air Jordan 5 Retro Quad 54 is gonna make the month a little more difficult as far as picking and choosing which sneakers to buy. Now, the sneaker was created for the France Streetball Tournament of the same name and features a white tumbled leather upper with vibrant green accents. There's also a 3M tongue and there's speckled metallic silver teeth on the midsole. Uh, we don't have a solid release date on these, but please be assured that we will let you know as soon as we find out. And once again, that's the Air Jordan 5 Retro Quad 54 for the France Streetball Tournament. Let's move on to number three. Their colorful colorway has quickly dubbed them the Nike LeBron 8 version 2 Sprite. However, if this is anything like the LeBron Tourage incident we experienced earlier this year, they will quickly be known as the Nike LeBron 8 V2 Treasure Blue, Volt, and White. Now, I want to let you know I'm not complaining whether they're called Sprite or they're called by the colorway. They're hot, so I really don't care. Uh, like the solar red version we saw last week, the bright colorway really makes the LeBron low really pop. It makes it look really, really unique. Uh, definitely like the way this shoe looks. Uh, the treasure blue upper and the vault mix combined together. They just really make the shoe pop a lot. Now, right now, we don't have a release date. However, we're thinking that these will be towards the end of summer. So once again, that's the Nike LeBron 8 version 2 Sprite or treasure blue, vault, and white. The holiday season for the last few years have been difficult for sneakerheads, not because they haven't released enough material, but because they're releasing too much, and namely, they're releasing too much Jordan brand stuff. Here we see an Air Jordan 14 low in black and red with a beautiful leather and durable construction. Now, for those Jordan heads out there, you already know that this shoe was modeled after one of Michael Jordan's Ferraris, but of course I don't have to tell you guys that, right? Right? You didn't know that, right? Well, even if you didn't know that, you can look for these to drop holiday 2011, which means this November or December. Let's move on to number one. Coming in at number one is, well, it's a rumor as of right now. Let me make sure I get that clear. This is just a rumor, and it is a rumor concerning the Air Jordan 5 Retro, Grape, and Laney together in one pack. Now, as exciting as that sounds, this is still a rumor. We haven't been able to confirm it and we haven't been able to uh, receive any, even, in, any hints from any of our reliable sources. So as of right now, this is a rumor. Once again, it is a rumor that the Grape and Laney pack will be dropping in July. But if it does drop in July, I know where I will be. And that is in line for the Grape and Laney pack. I mean, together, Grape and Eleni together. How sweet is that? I think sneakerheads' heads would literally explode. Ah, I just want to look at them. Just, just touch one and just rub it across my face. Ah, let's move on to the honorable mention. And for the honorable mention this week, I have three sneakers that I think are very hot, but they didn't make it into the top review. The first one is the Nike Kobe 6 in black and gray. Even though Kobe is not in the playoff, Nike still has quite a few colorways of the Kobe 6 to release. And I'm glad this is one of them. Always a fan of black and gray sneakers. Next up is the Air Jordan 3 slide for the True Blue. Um, you guys have seen these before. I showed you a little bit of these last week, but uh, we did a post with just the True Blue slide and you guys really picked those up. And finally, I have the Air Jordan 2.0 in black, red, and green. These kind of remind me of Do the Right Thing. 
Um, I'm, I'm gonna think I'm gonna check out the Air Jordan 2.0. It looks, it looks a little bulky and big, um, but it looks super comfortable. I don't know. We'll have to see. Let's move on to my personal pick. And for my personal pick this week, I'm going with the Air Jordan 1 Band. Now this has been dropping at select retailers, and actually it's not even select retailers, it's at outlets. Um, I don't have any outlets near me, unfortunately, or I would have gone and checked them out. Um, but I thought that was a pretty cool concept for Nike to drop them at the outlets. Um, you know, it's not, it's not a normal thing, and you know, for real Jordan heads, I'm sure you'll find them. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but these are the ones with the red X and not the ones with the black X. We've seen both red X and black X, um, so we're just going to have to check those out. These shoes are pretty remarkable in my eyes, just the theme behind them being banned and you know what they mean to the NBA and how the NBA has changed and all the rules that have changed. So I'm a big fan of the Air Jordan 1 band, so to speak, and I hope to grab myself a pair, so I don't have to keep my eye out try to get to one of these outlets, but the outlets are like 50 miles away and I just refuse to drive that far. But so for my personal pick, it's the Air Jordan 1 Band. So for today's question of the video, actually first before I do that, I wanna give a shout out to everyone that gave me the recommendations last week. Um, turns out my Hirachis are just beaters and there's really no way to bring them back. I tried cleaning them with soap and water, I even went into Foot Locker and got the cleaner from Foot Locker, and it just didn't do it. I'm gonna still go get the Magic Eraser, uh, the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, and see if I can clean up the outsoles a little bit, and maybe I can rock them, but I really just think they're beaters, and nothing's really gonna save them, unfortunately, but thank you guys for all of your responses. So for this week, the question of the video for this week is uh, seeing Mizzy, Cus Mizzy Customs Custom got me thinking about it. So my question of the video for this week is what Air Jordan do you want to see in another Air Jordan's colorway? If you know what I mean, like how Mizzy did the six in the cool gray 11 colorway. What Air Jordan do you want to see in another Air Jordan's colorway that hasn't been done yet? Leave a question, um, leave your comment down in the comments down there. Let me know what you think, which one you would pick. Um, and I'll put up some of them next week. See which ones have the best ones. Word up. Well, thank you guys for watching the weekly review. If you missed the weekly review last week, I will put the video right, bam, right there. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to these videos, make sure you subscribe. There's a link right up here. I uh, just probably right more over there, but it's somewhere in this box, in this area here, in this area here, there's a, a subscribe button. So make sure you click that. It'll notify you as soon as we post a new video. If Twitter and Facebook is your thing, then that information is down in the description. So make sure you go there if you want to talk to us on Facebook and or on Twitter. Uh, as always, I am your host, Jacques Slade. I really, really appreciate you guys watching these videos and I will see you next week. Peace.